The city of Phoenix is safer today than it was last week. Detectives with several agencies, including Phoenix Police, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, DPS, FBI, and ATF, focused on violent offenders and prohibited possessors. This operation was used, uh, developed using data-driven intelligence to make sure that uh, we did workups on violent offenders with felony warrants. Over seven weeks, they tracked down criminals of interest, which then led to an operation they are calling a success. We seized over a half million fentanyl pills, over five pounds of methamphetamine. We seized nearly four dozen firearms during this operation. And it's important to note that all 21 of the arrestees that were armed with firearms that we encountered during this operation were all pro prohibited possessors. Maricopa County Attorney Rachel Mitchell says that's where her office steps in with stricter bonds and accountability. We are definitely pushing for those people to be held in custody, um, assuming that there's adequate evidence for us to charge and that there is uh, evidence that there is either a danger to the community, to the victim in particular, or a major flight risk. And we're conveying all of that information to the courts. For the Phoenix Police Department, down hundreds of officers, Sullivan says their job continues whether or not they are fully staffed. But if you got a warrant for you, you might want to consider turning yourself in. Phoenix Police made it extremely clear their work here is not done. They say they will be evaluating what worked and what didn't work with this operation to ensure they are now working to keeping more criminals off the streets. Reporting in Phoenix, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.